What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of MAV where we do uh, hunting, fishing, camping, and everything outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of stealth camping out of my truck. Um, we're visiting a national park called the Badlands which is in South Dakota. We're going to do some boondocking and uh, I'll show you just how I found this spot. As you can probably tell, I'm, I'm starting off this episode on the road. Uh, last time I left you guys, I was letting you know that I'm going on a road trip to California. And so today, I'm beginning just that. Um, right now I'm in western Minnesota, like midwestern Minnesota, and I'm heading toward Pierre, South Dakota, which is like the capital of South Dakota slash like Badlands area, so. So as you can tell, I'm about four and a half hours away from my destination. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna roll up at about 8.30 tonight and hopefully get some Z's, find a spot to crash. I really don't wanna crash at a urban spot. I wanna crash at like, I don't know, somewhere scenic. Somewhere like not at a Walmart would be awesome. But uh, it's gonna be my first night in the new truck camper setup. If you guys haven't seen my new truck camper setup, go watch the video of me building it before you watch this. So stay tuned, strap in, stuff's about to get real. All right guys, well I've officially made it to Pier, South Dakota. This is the capital of South Dakota. I'm actually right next to the river right now. Um, apparently there's some good walleye fishing around here, but I'm not gonna be doing any of that tonight. Um, we're driving right through here and trying to get to the Badlands. So my mission tonight is to sleep in the Badlands. I don't really know if there's any camping spots or anything. I, I'm really like flying by the seat of my pants this whole road trip. So we're gonna get to the Badlands. We're gonna assess the situation, see what the heck we're dealing with. Um, but right now I gotta fill up the gas, so. Hmm. So we wait. This is nuts. Look at it. Can you guys see this? Oh my gosh. Alright. Do I want to camp here for the night? Yeah, I suppose it's getting kind of late. Might as well just park here for the night. Back with it. That's crazy. All right guys, so we've officially made it. We are in the Badlands. Um, I'm not too far in right now. I'm probably only like two miles, three miles in. Uh, the reason for that being it's really dark out and I don't know the Badlands at all. And plus I want to see it in the morning. So um, I don't know, the park shut down. It's about 10.50 at night and the park shut down right now. I don't know if you guys could see earlier, there was like, when I pulled up there was, you can see like the canyon I don't even know what you'd call those little mounds over there. The bugs are crazy here. Like, I don't know, there's like little flies and gnats and stuff flying around. They're super annoying, but um, when I'm standing in the wind here, they're not bad. But when I get like on the other side of the truck here, uh, they're everywhere. And this light is definitely not helping. So I guess I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you guys like the main new thing that I got since we last saw each other. And that would be this big guy right here. This is a, uh, looks like a cooler, but that's actually a, a portable fridge. So that's hooked up to my battery in the back. And that's gonna keep all my, right now I have it set to negative two degrees Fahrenheit. It's a freezer. Um, I have a bunch of meat in there, like chicken, ground beef, and then I think some salmon fillets. But it's gonna be super handy for keeping like stuff fresh or frozen while I'm on the road. Um, really excited about that. I am packed to the brim. So this side I just kind of have like tackle, what's this one? That's my miscellaneous box. It's kind of like my junk drawer box. I got like a bunch of different stuff in here. I got cleaning wipes, steel wool, body wash. Um, and then if you go on the other side, I built a little, uh, like a clothes hanger. I built, the, I built a rod to hang them on. So I just use like some bungee cord and then just a big wooden dowel. So just put like a screw right here just to hold the bungee cord. And then 
I had little hooks in my truck, so I just bungee corded around that. Pretty nifty. And the snowboard did make it. That's right there. There she is. There's the boots, goggles. All right, who the heck is calling me right now at 10.30 at night? Well, apparently it's a little harder than it seems to find a parking spot to camp for the night. Um, I was there for probably about 15 minutes, like trying to get all set up to cook. And then uh, a park ranger came by and let me know that I can't camp here. So, um, all right, well, I guess I have no other choice than to just leave. So let's, let's get out of here. I drove around the campsite and there was no spots available. So I drove back into the Badlands and um, now I'm even further into the Badlands in like a visitor parking center. I don't know if this is like staff or faculty or whatever, but we're gonna do a little bit of stealth camping today. Um, I'm not gonna be able to cook a meal, so. Putting these in the back with me, but uh, I gotta shut this light off for right now, and I have to get in the back of the truck because it's probably drawing a lot of, a lot of attention, so I'm gonna put the GoPro on, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the back of the truck. from the Badlands. Check it out. All right, so, so it's about 6 a.m. Um, people are starting to show up for work at this visitor center. And uh, I slept really well last night. First night in the truck was a success. The really annoying part is that inverter is super loud, but I don't know, I sleep with a fan on anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. This comes on periodically throughout the night. Um, I am noticing though, if you look here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it says 11.5 volts, so that means that my battery's almost dead. And that's only after one night of charging it. Um, I don't know. That kind of is worrisome. Um, makes me want to get two on there, but you guys have any idea of why it would be draining so fast, let me know. Um, this Dometic freezer is supposed to not draw that much energy, so I don't know if I really misinterpreted not draw that much power or uh, or not. But um, anyway, I'm going to wake up right now, going to drive somewhere, and then have myself a little breakfast to the view. Let's get out of the car. We can't see uh, cool stuff being lazy bones, so let's go. This should work for pull off right here. Yeah, definitely gonna need this today. Oh wow, this is already becoming a huge mess. Oh. What's up, buddy? Hey, dude. Hey! Alright, good morning. See you later. Well, that's the first wildlife besides birds that I've seen here. Uh, apparently there's bison and... What are they? Mountain? Like some type of goat? Bison and goat? That'd be pretty cool to see a bison. And I guess it'd be kind of cool to see a goat too. Just bison are a lot more exciting.
beautiful. Mm-mm. I need some chicken. There's a, a bit much in the sugar department, but... Mm-hmm. Last night made me realize I think it's gonna be a little more difficult than I originally had thought to find spots to sleep on this whole trip. Um, granted, I am in like one of the most popular national parks in the area, um, and it is a Saturday slash Friday night. But I mean, I still got it done. Um, it was just annoying because I couldn't I couldn't cook myself a meal last night. And I didn't want to have the filming lights out and drawing a bunch of attention to myself. So I think a lot of that stuff's going to happen on this trip. But just, I guess, makes it uh, that much more worthwhile. You can hear the rocks falling down there. That's crazy. Sorry, getting distracted. But as I was saying, it's just going to make it that much more worthwhile when I'm actually able to do that stuff. This is the best part right here. Good morning. It's one of my favorite breakfasts. You guys like grapefruits? Mm. We're freaking one of my favorites. I absolutely love them. It's unreal. Well, I want to drive around and see what the rest of this park looks like. I forgot to mention that last night it definitely freaking rained. Um, so a lot of this stuff is like clay now. So now the bottom of my feet are nice and clayed up. I'm not gonna get too close to the edge because that clay definitely makes things slippery. <laughs> Don't want to end up in the bottom of the canyon, eh? But last night when the rain was coming in, it was crazy how fast the winds were getting. Like you could just hear it whipping up against the truck. And it was uh it was loud and it was fast but overall i think the first night went like honestly better than it, i thought it was going to God, get this clay off my plan for today is i'm going to find a little coffee shop to edit up some videos at and then drive up to like the montana area so fishing episodes are going to be coming up um as well as some cooking stuff i got a lot of stuff planned How about that? <laughs> oh, this is sick. Well, all I can say is I really wish I would have found this spot last night. I mean, check this out. This is like a boondocker's paradise. Um, if I didn't roll in so late last night, I think I could have found this spot, um, but it was actually on the opposite entrance, the one that I came in, so. This is unreal though. There's a couple other RVs and stuff over there, um, so I know it's safe to camp here for the night, but I actually have to hightail it out of here. I still gotta, I, I wasn't planning on spending this much time in South Dakota. I actually 
spent most of the day in my truck just now editing um, but what a what a magnificent view to edit a video at that has to be the biggest red ant hill I have ever seen in my life that is <laughs> I'm glad I'm not standing on that all right well as beautiful as this is there's more places for me to see I gotta get back on the road um, I also have to find some Wi-Fi to upload this video, but that's besides the point. Um, before this video ends, I kind of want to let you guys know I did something before I left. Um, I, ended up, I ended up opening up a P.O. box, so if you guys have anything that you want to send to me, feel free. Um, I really like seeing stuff that you guys come up with. I've had people make me uh, CNC'd like fish before. I've had people write me a nice letter. So it really helps me out a lot when, you know, I get, get some money for gas or a gift card or something. It just makes my week, so... If you guys want to send stuff, the uh, address is below. Also, I have an email set up now, so if you guys have any questions or just want to reach out, um, it's maverickmail at gmail.com. Uh, you can send me a message. But yeah, I just thought you guys would want to know. And uh, again, the Keep On Trucking merch is below the description. It's like a big bar across. There's like sweatshirts, shirts, and whatever. So if you guys, anything that you buy helps me out a little bit. And I appreciate it. It helps me out with money for gas and money to help pay off this bill that I'm now in debt for. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Um, I hope everybody can come enjoy a beautiful site like this, whether it be the Badlands, whether it be your backyard, or wherever the heck you're located. Take some time, get outside, and enjoy the great outdoors. Again, my name is Maverick, and you already know the drill. Until next time, just keep on trucking. <laughs>